In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. When I click, it will show me the first option, comes the second option, the third option, and the fourth option. Depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease the options. Please share, like, and subscribe my channel. And the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shape select a rectangle draw the rectangle towards the left side of the screen you can see here shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to select the gradient fill here the gradient fill make sure it is the type linear and the direction the dark color should be on the right side i have used two stops here the color stops the first one is the light gray color and the second one is somewhat dark gray color here so once this is done go to the insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle draw at this end you can see here which is touching this uh, our gradient rectangle shape outline make it no outline and depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the height and press ctrl d to duplicate this one and put it a little bit below of the first rectangle do not put it equal uh, size okay here a little bit down increase it stretch it and then i'm going to connect these two rectangles with the help of a freeform shape so go to the insert shape select the freeform shape here click at the top you can see here and i'm going to click here here and then you can see here shape outline make it no outline now the first thing i'm going to select this rectangle and i'm going to give some light green color and here also i'm going to save give the same color and for this i'm going to give a, a dark green color which looks something like this again if you want to edit the size you can just you can see here it is not properly aligned what i can do is right mouse click and edit point i can align it properly you can see here we have to align it properly i think this looks better so once this is done the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to insert one uh, oval shape draw an oval shape here by holding the shift key a little bit bigger shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and i'm going to give some shadow effect go to the shadow and select the offset bottom here and once this is done go to the insert text box i'm going to type option 01 here center align you can choose any font i can use uh, say for example oswald or any other font of your choice increase the size and put it exactly in the center make it bold as well once this is done i'm going to insert some icons go to the icons and choose any icon of your choice so i'm going to choose some icons randomly here let me just choose this apple click insert and put the apple here maybe the height and width i'm going to make it as 0.7 and graphic fill make this as white you can see here and then go to the insert text box you can add the title here again you can use the same fold oswald or again it's up to you i'm going to use the white font make sure it is properly aligned in the center you can see here or you can hold the alt also and draw it in the center so shapes select the line i'm going to add one line here to differentiate from the title and our detailed text again make it as a white then go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one it will give me some this latin text i'm going to delete the unwanted text white font if you want you can just reduce the size and we are done so you can see here the first option is done so now it's very easy i'm just going to select all the options and hold the control shift 
and before that one let me just group this one so that will be easier so these two options i'm going to group this one and i'm going to group this one press ctrl g so you can see here we have got one two and three right so let me just now select all the options and then drag this one hold the ctrl shift key just we can see here the third and the fourth just release it now it's easy for me just i'm going to make it one two three and option number four you can give depending on the color uh, combinations for example i'm going to select this one instead of green i'm going to give a light blue color here and for this also i'm going to give the same color which is the light blue and here it should be more darker so you can see here it looks something like this and for this icon you can select the icon go to the graphics change graphic from icons you can just choose any icon it will replace the icon there with the same size for example let me just select this one and click insert so you can see here the icon got changed again if you want to change the color of this one i'm going to give a kind of uh, this color here i'm going to give more darker and here again the same color all right so it should be always this corner should be always a darker color than this so similarly if you want you can just give some different color combination here maybe i'm going to give a kind of red you can see here maybe a darker red and then i'm giving this red color here all right so once this is done you can change the color of these numbers as well to match with these colors and change the icon so once this is done we can go and give the animation effect so go to the animations enable the animation so uh, what i prefer is before copying this one you can just uh, do the animations all right so let me just anyway let me just do this one so select this one add animation more entrance effects and i'm going to choose animation which is stretch click ok and it should happen stretch should happen from left you can see here then i'm going to select the animation uh, the object click on the animation painter select this one you can see here this should happen after previous and same animation i'm going to copy it here and this should also happen after previous so if i play it comes the first one like this okay now it's very easy i can just select the animation painter click on the second one again select the second option then the detail text click here so you can see here it's very easy just copy and paste using the animation painter so it's all done here you can see here if i play it looks something like this you can see here 